Not far from Indian Wells is the Joshua Tree National Park, a place of serene natural beauty, a huge draw for tourists to the area and inspiration for generations of artists. All a world away from what promised to be the busiest day of top class tennis at the BNP Paribas Open so far this week. In their earliest tournament meeting in over a decade, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal headlined Stadium One, and the Swiss maestro was quick out of the blocks in the first set. Stop it! That's extraordinary. Federer was rolling back the years into set two. With an early break, this match was only going one way. Oh, even the return into the body is proven effective. It's in. What a way to finish. What a performance from Roger Federer. If Novak Djokovic was to win a fourth successive title in Indian Wells, the 2017 campaign would certainly be the most impressive. Next for the defending champ was Nick Kyrgios. The Aussie was cruising in set one after an early break. The 15th seed knocked Djokovic out of Acapulco the previous tournament and seemed to have the world number two right where he wanted him in this encounter too. Saving his best when it really matters, Kyrgios. In set two, the serve was keeping pace throughout, but required some vintage Djokovic to utilise some fine margins and edge towards a tie-break. Yeah. But in the breaker, the Aussie number one, who knows no such feelings of pressure, threw in a second serve ace to keep hold of his advantage. <laughs> you are kidding me. The match soon followed, all this without facing a break point from arguably the greatest returner in tennis history. Nick Kyrgios makes it two in a row against Novak Djokovic. On the stadium court two, Pablo Cuevas advanced to his first ever Masters 1000 quarter-final after the Uruguayan number one saw off last year's semi-finalist David Goffin in three sets. Kei Nishikori has wasted little time on court so far this tournament. His match against Donald Young was no exception, although the fourth seed did need to battle back from a 4-1 deficit in the second set. Last American standing, Jack Sock made heavy work of his match with surprise package Malik Jaziri, the US number one now unbeaten in seven matches on home soil. Sneaking under the radar into the quarterfinals was Pablo Carreño Busta, the Spanish number three ended the impressive run of qualifier Duzan Lajovic to set up a last eight meeting with Pablo Cuevas. Stan Wawrinka took to Stadium 2 for the first time this tournament and the Swiss number one wasn't at the races in set one against Yoshito Nishioka. A sharp upturn in quality and consistency from Stan in the second set meant the third seed was on the verge of levelling the match. Some interesting points. It went to a decider and after serving for the win twice, Nishioka couldn't quite make it over the line, at which point Vavrinka took full advantage in the tiebreak. Oh, Vavrinka. Punishing ground strokes. Stan through by the skin of his teeth to the quarterfinals. It is Stan Wawrinka, the third ranked player in the world, standing strong and moving into the quarters. The last quarter-final berth up for grabs would be contested by Dominic Thiem and Gael Monfils under the lights of Stadium One, and it was the Austrian who took a stranglehold of the first set. Monfils just seemed to switch off. Despite trailing, the flamboyant Frenchman never lost the inclination to entertain. Morpheus. Team took the opener and was equally as dominant in the second. It was only a matter of time for the eighth seed. Dominic team moves through to the last eight here in Indian Wells. So after a busy day at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden, the quarter-final lineup is set, with the first two of our last eight clashes set for play on Thursday.